Family members of a Jasper County woman who was killed in a hit and run are left with questions today. The accused semi driver is charged with one count of leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. He has posted bail. News 18's Trevor Peters met today with several friends and family members of the victim, Melissa Deno. On State Road 16 and US 231 in Rensselaer is a tribute to what a family has left. It's really all we have right now. Melissa Denno was on her way home from work on October 10th when she hit and went under a semi at the intersection. Denno died at the scene and the semi drove off. The driver was later identified by a trucking company as Joseph Bland of Terre Haute. He's facing one felony charge of leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. He was wanted on warrant and turned himself into the Jasper County Jail Saturday. He's now out on a $1,500 bond. Yeah, we just don't understand why, why that this gentleman, you know, has gotten out so early when shoplifters uh, are in jail longer than this. But that's the least of this mother's concerns. But I just don't understand why he did not stop, why he didn't check on her. He could have been there with her, maybe the last breath, or he could have held her hand. I don't understand how he did not feel the car go under the trailer. Court documents say the crash was filmed on surveillance cameras from Rose Acre Farms across the street. The video shows the semi not making a complete stop at the intersection. And I feel for him, I feel for his family, but yeah, why didn't he stop? Denno was a mother, wife, daughter, and sister. She loved to ride her Harley Davidson and spoiling her dog and children. So she's with us today. She's with us every day. It's very hard. The charge against Joseph Bland was filed on November the 19th by then prosecutor Christine Bogan. Bogan resigned on November the 30th. There's currently an interim prosecutor here in Jasper County until the elect takes over on January the 1st. Bland has an initial court hearing on December the 18th. In Rensselaer, Trevor Peters, News 18. Well, the family continues to search for answers, and so are we. News 18 is working with our news gathering partners in Terre Haute on this story. We expect to hear from Bland's lawyer in the coming days. And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. We're digging, digging into ice thickness on ponds tonight. And what is considered safe? If it's two inches or less, stay off.